Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, the Game of Welcome to you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. Hopefully, everything is going well. Um, I have a scary, scary episode ahead of me. We're going to be taking on the Miss Ralton City Gym Leader. And I, I am truly not at all prepared. 100% extremely nervous. But you know what? We got to calm our nerves, okay? Like, nervousness cannot be rising. Okay, we gotta we gotta get this going. We gotta do well. We gotta believe in ourselves and in what we can do. Uh, like it's gonna be it's going to be crazy, and I already know it. But let's give you guys a swift team recap because the team changed. Um, and I'm gonna give you uh Z the Cradelli holding the lucky egg with the careful nature with the natural cure. Angel Power, Rock Slide, Thunderbolt, and Aqua Jet. We then have Kaiba Boy with Stone Edge, SmackDown, Aqua Jet, and Stealth Rock. We have Venomoth, which is not actually Venomoth, it's Cassie. So I think we actually have, we know where the name raider is, so we can actually fix that literally right now. Um, then we got Troy with uh, Aqua Tail, V Create, Spatial Run, Dragon Dance. We have Brittany with Surf, Swift, Aqua Jet, and Fly. And we got Tweedledee with Hydration, Close Combat, Fusion, uh, Fusion Bolt, Cut, and Storm Throw. That is the team. Let's go to the Name Raider real quick, because I think he's over here. Oh, wait, what? Move the leader. No, 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 no. Okay. Um. All right. Well, we have Cassie, the Venomoth. Okay. Okay. Just it's it's Cassie. Um. But no, I felt stupid. So, I had a Wonder Guard course law I could have added to the team, and I just didn't actually do that. Which again, I feel dumb for not doing because it was like an easy way to have just boom defensive coverage of the Wazoo with Rock move with freaking water moves like yeah it was it's such a good pokemon and i just overlooked it now i did just focus on team synergy right like and a lot of people can say that and will be like yeah you, that's what you focused on and you're not wrong in that i did kind of focus on what would make the team overall better but yeah i kind of am sad that i didn't catch the Hey, by the way, if you have this Wonder Guard course law on the team, you know, it's only weak to four things and it's super defensive. Um, you should use it. You have and you have toxic, so you can easily whittle down things. No guarantee that the course law learns toxic, but still, it's just like, wow, I cannot believe that I made a misplay like that. Because I mean if 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 Corsola were to have learned toxic, it would have been, would just instantly best bond on the team. I think personally like it beats out Brittany um so yeah it's it is definitely a case scenario that is just it's something and I don't even I don't even know how to put it and because of that I just sit here and wonder how are we going to take on a Kyogre? Oh my god. We don't have Joy's dad anymore. Joy's dad wouldn't have been the perfect way to take on a Kyogre. I'm sad. Why? Literally. Joy's dad was literally meant for Kyogres. And when do we run into it? The episode after Joy's dad dies. Why not? Um, I guess I'm going to... Tr I <sighs> Duh. Like, Troy's best option here, right? Like, there's no doubt about that. Actually, I have plenty of doubts about that, but I want to pretend that there's no doubt about it. <laughs> what an opposite ability! <laughs> <laughs> That's too good. That's too good. Of course it had slow start. You know, it could have had slow start in the first playthrough. No, 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 no. 
and I have Wonder Guard in the first playthrough. But in this one, it's got slow start. And that did nothing, so it's definitely living five turns. Um, yiker doodles. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go into Tweedledee, because here's, a, here's my thought process. Tweedle, it, it used Brine, which is actually scary, because I did a lot of damage. And if I go under half, it does way more. And there goes the entire point of using freaking Tweedledee. It's like Tweedledee has fusion bolts, so that'll be fine. It'll be fine. And no, apparently it won't because it'll withdraw and make it not matter. Well, I guess it, you know, Tweedledee did better than I expected on that. So I can't be too bad at Tweedledee for that. It's gonna. Oh, actually, Stormthrow might be better at this point now, actually. Stab and guaranteed crits. Like, honestly, like, sometimes it is definitely difficult to kind of figure out and determine how things are going and what you're doing. And Tweedledee is literally becoming the ace of the team, which I am not a fan of. I don't want Tweedledee to become the ace of the team. I don't want to admit that I have to use Tweedledee as often as I do, uh... And plus, I still need to catch a Tweedleda or Tweedledum. So uh, let me let me let me catch it. I mean, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll just catch a Tweedledum in the next episode. You know, because if I that way, I'll at least say I would have had Tweedledee and Tweedledum simultaneously. Not on the team simultaneously, but I will have had both Mons simultaneously. Hmm. Like that's my only thought process, right? Because. Like, oh my god, this, like, we are, I am happy that we're getting stonewalled, right? Like, of course, it sounds weird for me to be like, I'm happy we're having issues with literally everything in the team. But that's good, because it creates for better content, and it makes me feel better. So, like, yeah, it's, like, it's weird for me to be like, yay, I'm glad that we did bad. But it's like, all right, but we're, 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 we're finding... That middle ground, that fun middle ground in an Eslog, where literally you can die at any second, or you can win at any second. Will we die, or will we win? Find out later in the episode. I haven't died yet, so it'll happen. I mean, I've lost two locks, right? I've lost this twice, which is insane to think about. Hopefully, I only lose this twice. That's my plan. Like, if I can only lose this twice, then we'll be fine, right? Because I have to make it through this, and I have to somehow, some way, deal with Pokemon Y. And I, Pokemon Y, and it, it's going to be scary and worrisome and threatening and all of the fun things. Y'all are going to be part of it as well. You guys are going to be part of the action as far as killing Mons and making things destroyed on top of... Your guys' characters killing Mons and messing with stuff, too. Freaking, if Tarot murders my team, I'm going to be pissed. Because I can see that happening already. Um, Tarot, Troll, Joy, Jonas, freaking literally anybody. Brad could destroy the team somehow. Big Dog could find a way to mess with the team. Like, it is going to be immersive. But super scary. Oh my word. I did the wrong way. Ba 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 ba. I did the puzzle wrong. That is why I had to buy this optional trainer. Oh, optional trainers, though. I mean, to be fair, we should probably utilize the experience. Her ace is going to be level 4. 40. We are not there yet. I mean, we're almost there, but we aren't yet. So using the experience is going to be grand. Um, come on. Come freaking on. You missing literally resulted in you having to take three hits to kill this thing instead of two. Really, Z. Gosh, you're level 40, but you don't feel that way. Uh, Zangus. Another Pokemon I should probably stay in with it, but no, I'm gonna go. I have to go to Tweedledee again! Ah! 
freaking Tweedledee! Stop! Stop needing to come in every five seconds! <laughs> please! Just, just, just please, Tweedledee! Oh my god. Like, I don't understand why Tweedledee is needed so much. Like, in what retrospect would Tweedledee have needed to be? Like, yeah, I, I honestly, the Pokemon that died pro before Tweedledee has helped Tweedledee become utilized, but, like, this much? I would have never in a million years guessed that Tweedledee was going to be utilized th to this degree. No way would I have told you that. I would have said, girl, you, you're crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all are wild. You're wildin'. And it's like, actually, though, are we? No. Okay, there's something I miss in this puzzle all the time. I cannot remember for the life of me what it is. That brings me over here. Isn't there, like, a sector of this where you can just choose your direction in a way? No. Because this, this bounces me back over here. How do I get up? How do I make my way up? That's the part that's getting to me right now. So that is up here. can't go up or down here so that forces me down here I'm missing something and it's aggravating There it is. I was like, I swear there's something wrong right now. That was it. That was the wrong thing. I was I, I was getting aggravated because I was like, what the heck? I see another door here and I can't get to it. It's because I didn't face, I literally went in there, faced the same direction. I needed to go face, it, the arrows tell you what direction to face and I just was not, not in it to win it apparently. Um as we're fighting a Matang, which Z does not handle at all, and we gotta switch to Troy again, which I don't mind, you know, Troy Troy needs the levels, I, like, honestly, Z technically doesn't need any levels anymore, so I should probably take Z from the back, or put Z to the back, not utilize Z, same with Troy, actually, Troy won't need levels after this either, Troy is gonna just have fun V-creating the thing and murdering it, and then gets level 40 from that. Okay, yeah, I should reconsider kind of the team alignment here. Freaking finally! Oh my god. Thank you, Troy. Bye, Spatial Rend. Dragon Tail is negative priority, I understand. But that's still better to have all physical moves. And it fits Troy's point even more and even further, which is to be a physical mon. So, yes. 100% going to do that that is a w in my book and we will take it and continue writing it as it writing it as such because it, it is it's a w that we got that so i'm gonna go ahead and put Brittany back in the front of the party so that we can get Brittany to level 30 or 40 and yeah i mean i mean i do like the way that we're situated as a team i think we are gonna do good i think we are gonna prep well and play well but I mean, having an entire episode within a gym is always 
nerve-wracking. It always gets your heart a racing, blood pumping, and you're like, oh, I got Skyla sitting right here, ready to just whoop me entirely, make me a, rip me a new one, and I don't really know, I don't want that, obviously, and I need to make sure that I am playing it as safe as possible while still maintaining the uh playing it as safe as possible while still being entertaining as well and like doing not because i like i said before i'm not somebody who's gonna be like yes i'm gonna do this random move that does absolutely nothing it actually hurts my performance when i am knowledgeable and subject like for example, in chess, I make stupid blunders and I make stupid mistakes because I don't know the game as well. Um, I look at the game and I'm like, okay, this, that, the other. Like, if I'm going against an AI, I do better um, because the AI is more predictable than a human being in most cases because the AI is programmed to do certain things or to act a certain way and play defensive and play offensive. Like, so it does make a difference, but like I will make stupid massive blunders. Actually, the biggest blunder I made today was instead of capturing with a queen, I captured with a rook, which allowed me, which for those of you that don't know, uh, all right, capturing with a rook instead of a queen, which the queen can move anywhere on the board in any pattern. So like it, it can go vertical, horizontal and diagonal. Um, as long as it's not, you know, being intruded by a piece. And then you have the knights who can hop over things. And I think they're the only piece that can hop over things. So I captured with a rook, which is the people, some people call it the castle. It's a rook. And I moved up to capture a piece. And I didn't realize that the queen was sitting right there. And the queen literally could just easily chomp both of my rooks for a freaking pawn and i was like i blundered hard i literally blundered that's the hardest blunder i've ever made and it was against an actual person so i felt bad uh who am i leading with who am i leading with who do i feel comfortable with i awkwardly want to say i feel com most comfortable with tweedledee like and i hate to say it i think that tweedledee is who I feel most comfortable with right right at, at this moment. Tweedledee is who I feel comfortable with. But I'm going to go against my judgment and I'm going to lead with Troy. And I feel like I made a bad decision and we'll find out if I did or not. I did not. I actually made a good decision. Let's go. Not trusting your gut actually working well. That, don't do that actually. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you gonna turn into a dragon? Oh my, what? Um, excuse me. That is not how conversion's supposed to work, mister. It literally doesn't matter though. That's hilarious. I would have assumed it mattered. Although, wait, 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 wait. I'm minus speed now, I gotta switch. I should switch. I should, and I am going to. Going into Z. You got this, Z. Come on, Z. Be my, be my Joy's dad. I was going to say, be my Joy daddy. What? Be my Joy's dad and actually do well. Signal beam. Oh, that's not good. Um, At least it's not like X. Oh, don't say that. Okay. I was like, at least it's not Exodor. Oh, don't. Just like, it's going to be Exodor, and then you're going to die. Like, you're a plus special defense nature. That's why this is not doing that much. <laughs> okay, Cricketune is down. Vaporeon. I want to stay in with Z. Again, another mom that I would love Joy's dad for. That I don't have Joy's dad for anymore. Um, Brittany can't do anything. This is a Tweedledee scenario. If this is the ace where I had big trouble. <laughs> because it's Vaporeon, so it's especially bulky. If this is the ace, we are in big trouble, though. It is not. Okay. Thank frick. Also, sorry that everybody who didn't pick the EV route and go to the easy route actually just got frick-fracked right there. That sucks. 
I'm just like, people are not used to going the easy route, right? I'm used to them, like, going the difficult, or trying, or, like, I'm used to them going the easy route and picking one of the evolutions for the sake of the fact that, well, you know, the evolutions are pretty common. Um, and we did see a Togekiss in the gym, so Joy did get a point, um, because it was an exact mod from a trainer, so that's actually two. That's two points, I believe. Let me double check. So Joy did earn some points. Just pointing it out there. What did I say it was at? I need to go back to Sagala or announcements because it's in my announcements tab. Um, I need to remember how many points this is because it's for black and white. Um, if you get a mon in the gym, it's still one point. If you get a, if you get the species of a gym leader, it's now plus four. If you get the exact mon, it's now plus eight. Okay. So Joy gets one point. I thought it was multiple because it was the exact, but no. Um, for the gym leader, it's plus eight. Um, so yeah, so Joy got an exact mod in the gym. Which is one. I thought it was two. And if you got a species, it's one. Oh, wait. I think I know what I did, actually. I think it was like half of a point or something if you got it right. Yeah, it was. It was half of a point if it was a species, which I really stopped that because there was no point. Um, so I did species for the gym leader and then exact mon for the actual gym itself. Okay, yeah, so Joy got a point. I wish Joy got two points, but Joy got a point. Joy got something nonetheless, but I needed to double check. So Joy did get a point, which is cool. Um, so Joy got plus one. Going back, what I needed to do. So Joy got a point. Oh, no. Tarot got more points. Tarot got a speed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tarot did go to the easy round and pick the EV, and it actually worked out because the main point was there. So it's plus four. Oh, my God. Tarot just still gets more points. <laughs> Uh, and Retrom is the mother freaking ace, which is a big issue, kind of. Kind of a boy. Oh my god, Tarot literally got plus. Tarot literally just got plus four. And Joy got plus one. This is like one of the most amount of points I've seen in a thing. Wow. I've got a Stone Edge. A Stone Edge is what? Oh my word. I'm not bulky though. Jeez. Okay. This is. I need to kill it now. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh my god. Okay. Do I think an Aqua Jet will kill? Okay. Uh, so, Stone Edge, what's your base power? I, I, I'm like 80% sure. That damage range looks like it went way fine. Stone Edge is 100 versus 40. So, oh wait, no, you're gonna heal, you're gonna heal, you're gonna heal, you're gonna heal, right? You're, you're gonna heal. You haven't healed yet. You don't heal! Oh my god, why don't you heal? You're a gym leader! Gym leaders heal! Oh, I should have went with the safe route. I risked that. Uh, oh, no! I'm the dumb one! Oh my god, I misplayed that so bad! Oh my god, it was locked in an outrage so it couldn't heal! I should have freaking Aqua Jetted. Because Aqua Jet would have killed. Aqua Jet would have done one fourth of what I just did. Because, or uh, two and a half. Uh, so it actually would have been one fifth of what I just did. So actually, it would have been a roll. Ah, my god. But that would have been a better play than, no, than literally letting Kaiba Boy die. Because it was locked into freaking Outrage. And now I'm in an Outrage because I just did something so stupid. 
stupid. And that was a Pokemon that I've actually, like, come to like lately. Oh, my word. Oh, gosh. How did I manage to play it that stupidly? That's my fastest Mon, too. Oh. Aqua Jet was the best move every time. Blundering! Oh my freaking... That makes me mad. And I was... Oh. Wow, uh, that was a massive blunder. Okay, 91 defense, though. Like, that is the most defensive mod on our team. So literally anything will die to a crit. I think that was also our fastest mod on the team. Oh no, Tweedledee is faster, and Venomoth is faster. But Venomoth is not defensive enough to handle that. A hit from that. Venomoth dies. Tweedledee dies. So it'd be, are they faster than a Reshiram, which I don't think they are. Brittany won't necessarily die die but it would die to it but Brittany would die to a crit but I do have aqua jet so I'm freaking I'm upset with myself what's gonna make me more mad is if it is actually not done with its out if it's done with its outrage and heals I swear oh my god Oh my god, um, wow, uh, this is actually really bad. This blunder could cost me more lives. Um, holy crap. I need to play it safe. I can't risk the, 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 the... I can. I don't want to, though. I maxed out your serves. And it's not like it's 4%. The issue is nothing else would live, realistically. I gotta do it. It snapped out, of course. It literally had one turn of confusion. I swear to freaking jeez Louises. I can't... That, uh, we learned Aqua Jet won't kill from there. Um, I'm training up more Pokemon. Um, <laughs> that's what's happening here. Um... So, I need to sack off a Pokemon. Another, I, two Pokemon are dying as a result of my stupid blunder. Again, by the way, two Pokemon are dying because of my stupid blunder. Um, gosh, I am so peeved at myself for that. I literally can only record one episode now. And I get to tell Joy about this awesome, fantastic, splendiferous experience of me being so ungodly dumb. Ah, oh, freaking gosh dang it. I gotta kill Venomoth. Uh, I told Joy, I, I told Joy, like, literally, I kind of am gonna kill Venomoth. I, I'm literally doing exactly what I said I was gonna do, but I didn't know that I was actually gonna do it this soon. I, I'm so mad that I blundered. Yeah, okay, so I figured you were gonna live. What I'm hoping is that Venomoth somehow clutches it. Right, like, cause if Venomoth can be like a clutch and do be a god for 2.5 seconds and get hit, save himself by a confusion hit chance, 
then... Oh... My god! Why are you healing now?! Get yourself toxic! You missed a talk You poison type! When did they? Oh my, my God! You just, you just missed a toxic. You had an opportunity to actually do something, Venomoth, and put this fair sure on a timer, and you decided no. Love you too. Ugh, good night. Oh my God! I cannot believe this. Um. Wow. Um. Um. I cannot believe I blundered. And this blunder is actually costing me so drastically right now. Um. How do I even play this? You guys are gonna not know anybody on this dang team when you guys have a kill! Um, I blundered so bad. Okay, Tweedledee is gonna have to die because Tweedledee has to come in to then heal up this is Pokeblock Trainer Z and snap out of confusion. God. Are we actually losing? I said that these kind of fights make your adrenaline go. You have Aqua Jet too. Okay. Are you more of a physical or special attacker? And what am I willing to bank myself stuff, bank myself on? You are more of a physical attacker, but it's only by seven. That's ninety percent accuracy. It's a fifteen percent power differentiation. I am slower, so I won't get the flinch chance, but I could get the ten percent chance too do the do the thing please I need you to do the thing I need you to do the thing I need you to do that that that's one of them uh, I'm slower so I gotta heal uh, I, I can make it out of this because now, Brittany should be able to kill with a Surf. I'm gonna heal and hope that it doesn't, like... Z's gonna have to sit here and tank. What anything bad can happen right now. That could burn, 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 that could burn. That's just the same amount of damage. Holy crap. Um... So it's either I sit here and heal, which does not sound like a good plan at all, by the way. Oh, you're gonna snap out of confusion. I, I, I need to let Z go. Uh, here's why I need to let Z go. I can continue healing, but if I crit, that's an issue. That that literally, or if it crits, I'm sending in Brittany to not be able to realistically have much of a shot. I can either choose to Aqua Jet and... So Aqua Jet is going to hit and guarantee myself damage. And if I get Aqua Jet combined with it hitting itself in confusion, and Aqua Jet from Brittany just out of kills, that 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 makes sense. I'm banking on a little bit of luck, but it's kind of seems like it's necessary. Oh! Let's go! 
We actually got it. Z might not say be alive. Yeah, Z won't be alive. Unfortunately, but Z did the work that Z needed to do. We just lost four Pokemon that I get to train up in a whole entire new squad. Let's go. Uh <laughs> Great I lost four bonds off of one blunder. One blunder just crumbled literally my entire team. One mistake. That was not going for Aqua Jet. On Kabutops. Just killed four Pokemon. I am in utter shock that that happened. I was not ready for one blunder to cause that much of an issue whatsoever. Um, I figured that one blunder was maybe blundering just Kabutops. But no, that is not what we got at all. And we're leaving with Brittany and Troy, the freaking two Pokemon I would expect to be leaving this out with. <laughs> freaking Skyla. I cannot believe this. In the last two episodes, we have lost six Pokemon. And I swear to God, if you give us Aqua Jet, I'm going to literally murder you. Growth. A freaking TM. That Joy's dad's known for. In normal gameplay. <sighs> Why is this game throwing the freaking. It's literally trying to toss me out the window right now. It is actually. Oh, if you freaking fight me, please no, 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 no. I get that my Pokemon want to hurt. I get it. I understand. Go. Just go. Just go. Do not fight me. I, I do not need a fight right now. Thank you. Holy bejeebus. I thought we were going to get into a fight. And I know I skipped all events dialogue there, but we literally have to rebuild the team to end the episode. And <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I hate that we have to rebuild another entire team. And you guys get to sit here and watch me be like, yeah, we don't have very many encounters. But what are we going to do? Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, order of which they died. It was my blunder on Kabutops that I'm pissed about. Which then resulted in Venomoth Sack. And then a Tweedle D sack. And a Cradilly attempted kill, but didn't barely, barely live. To leave us with Brittany and Troy. <laughs> now what do we do? Okay, we have a freaking we have Brittany and Troy. So Nick is definitely coming on the team. Wonderguard Corsola. I feel like has to come on the team. It's going to have rock moves and it's going to be a threat. Whirlipede? Angry Dino probably actually as well. Because that's a rock type that's going to be fast. And hit hard. Although it doesn't deal with the, the weakness that actually I, Angry D now I love you but Whirlipede is actually better here because it'll be a Skullipede that can deal with the grass weakness that these two have so that's two coverages for that and then I need something for electric 
actually don't have anything for electric, actually. The rest... I think then I actually have to add a bomb of snow for that issue. Because I have two quad resistances to fire. I have two quad resistances and a resistance to fire. Uh, and then, am I a quad weak? I'm a quad weak to two things. What else am I quad weak to? Oh my god. Fighting, I have a resistance. I have one resistance to fighting. Uh, flying, I have one resistance but three weaknesses. So flying is an issue. Electric, I'll have two weaknesses, two resistances, so that'll be okay. Rock, I will have two resistances, two weaknesses. Ice, I will have four resistances and five resistances and one, yeah, four, no, four, four resistances and one weakness. Dark will be one one resistance. Psychic will be two weaknesses and no resistances, so that would be a problem. But Psychic has been an issue this entire run. Honestly, all I'm seeing here is that flying in like a Zatu would wreck our lives. A Zatu or a Lugia would be an issue, but other than that, I think we'd be okay. So that's the team. We're leaving our Empoleon because I want my Wonder Guard Pokemon. And we're down to five Mons in the box. I'm keeping Hydragon because if, like, I need to keep Hydragon as utility. Oh my god, this team changed a lot, and we're gonna have to train them all. Thank god we have a Lucky Egg. Anyways, we love you all so much, and I know this was an extremely long episode. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. You guys get to kill another Pokemon in the next episode. So it'll be the first time in Saga Lock history that three straight Pokemon die in three straight episodes. Hooray. What a great thing to like have happen right now towards the end of the game.